Oh, hello everyone. Blitzstorm here. So I'm just working on a cloud system here for the anime game that I'm making, as you can see. And uh, people might be wondering, how do you make cloud systems? How do you make them move within Unity itself without uh, going through and making all the uh, oh. graphics? Well, I'm going to show you all that right now. So it's all right, it's not what I like, and there's a few things that are messing with what I would like. The skybox, for instance, I got this skybox off the asset store. Uh, it comes with some clouds, which are a bit more grayer than what these clouds are. Uh, so they do mess up the kind of the look that I'm going for. And I, I still need to tweak some stuff out. But let's uh, go into how to make a cloud system for Unity. I'm just going to uh, stop this right here. So what you first have to do is go up to assets and import a package called the particle systems. So once you get the package, it will be in your standard assets, the same place that you'll have your characters and environment as. So you're going to go in there here. You're going to go into prefabs. So you'll see a dust storm here. I'm just going to turn this cloud system off. You're going to drag and drop this dust system in here. So what that's going to give you is something kind of like this. Now it's already tweaked out a little bit from me entering with the other cloud system that I made. So it's going to be a bit more brown. It's not going to be as big. So what you want to do is I want this to cover the whole map. So I'm going to change its scaling to 100 by 100 roughly. Oops, not 1000. And I actually want the clouds to be not just on one line, I want them to be on multiple lines. So I'm actually just going to change this to uh, 5 for now. And then I'm actually going to change the position of this so that it's actually in the middle of the map, which is it, the map is 500 by 500. So I'm going to do 250 by 250. And I'm actually going to set it above the map. Uh, let's just set it at 300 for now. So as you can kind of see, you got these little puffs of smoke that are just popping up and twirling around. So let's uh, make sure that it's on looping. Let's do pre-warm. So when it starts the uh, it starts up before the map starts up. Let's uh, do the lifetime around 100 just so that the clouds actually last a bit longer. Yeah, thousands, okay. Uh, I'm gonna do 1500. Particles, for now. We want to actually go into uh, particle dust storm. I'm going to change it from, uh, it should be something else. You wanna go particles and then either addict, addictive, uh, soft or you could do vertex blend. Uh, I'm gonna do addictive Now it's still not gonna look much as clouds at the moment There's a few things that you need to actually change. Uh, I'm gonna leave emissions alone I'm going to leave Shapes alone actually I'm gonna change this to Let's go five the same as the size and as you see the box is switching a bit and that's actually going to give it the different levels so these are going to be at different heights uh, than what they actually are so I'm going to do that I'm going to go and I'm actually going to click off uh, click on limited uh, velocity and lifetime I'm going to do uh, separate axis and I'm going to keep it like that I'm then going to uh, check the color that's good don't mind me, I'm just uh, checking a few things here. So rotation by lifetime, let's go and just put it down to six. Let's go to rendering. I'm just gonna hit stop on that. Uh, let's go from billboard to horizontal billboard. Uh, there's still quite a bit of stuff we actually need to do. I'm gonna keep all of those 
the same. Uh, I can tint it if you want. You can actually tint the colors uh, for the cloud more white uh, if you want. I'm going to keep it how it is right now. Uh, it might be a bit more browner on yours. So you can see them starting to show up. They're flat now, uh, but they're not as much as I want them to be. Let's see, we're going to want to add a wind. So what I would do is I'm going to add a uh, create empty game object. I'm going to name it wind. So I'd name it wind. I already have mine, so I'm not going to make another one. But you're going to type in, uh, here's what it's going to look like. You're going to type in wind. You're going to add a wind zone to it. And what that will give you, let's delete this, is something like this. So you want to make sure directional is on. You can uh, add whatever speed you want for the wind. Uh, so the higher the number in the main is, the faster the clouds will actually blow. And I actually want to keep it at one because that's actually what I think I have it at right now. Yes, uh, one. So I'm going to keep it there. The start size. So here's where you start adding the clouds. Uh, I'm going to add 1,000. So now you can actually see the, oops, the clouds actually showing up. And then I'm going to add... 2500. So now you got clouds showing up. So it's uh, plain as it is right now. And it's just not really doing much. The wind zone actually isn't blown on it at the moment. What we have to do is add the uh, external forces. So when you do uh, this, let's turn to world for limit velocity and the lifetime. Let's do world. And then also let's do 50 by 50 by 50. And there we go. So now we have it blowing on a separate axis. Uh, and like I said, these darker clouds are from the skybox. But uh, yeah, that's uh, kind of what I'm messing with at the moment. It's all about tweaking out how you want it. Uh, to look and like I said the wind I have the wind blowing at the one I can actually slow it down if I want I can speed it up uh, and because it has the uh, external forces I can actually multiply it and uh, yeah so it's all about this tweaking stuff around and out you can pretty much do everything in unity that you want to like it started out as, off as a dust cloud I could actually make it black smoke if I have a forest fire something like that and then I can actually uh, spread that around at the bottom and at the top so it's all smoky uh, what the, your imagination is the limit when it comes to unity but uh, yeah this uh, cloud system uh, if there's too many clouds for your liking like that's that's uh, quite a bit of clouds all you need to do is actually just change the size down to whatever you uh, feel like so there's a bit less clouds blowing around and then you can actually make the lifetime uh, to slow it down also. But, uh, yeah, that's all you need to really do to make uh, clouds in this uh, game engine. So hopefully you guys kind of found this a bit helpful, a bit useful. Uh, if you did, leave a like, comment down below, and uh, I'll see you guys later.